and we're here at the CES 2020. Hi. Hello, welcome to the HDMI LA booth here at CES. We're excited to be showcasing <laughs> the latest and greatest for HDMI 2.1. So this year at CES, 8K is all the rage. All the TV manufacturers are showing their 8K products, and HDMI 2.1 is here to support it. So there's over 1,700 companies around the world building HDMI products. Almost 9 billion devices have shipped with HDMI, and a billion a year are added to that count. We're here featuring the HDMI 2.1 specification, 8K is the headline. Uh, we're showing off products with showing the full 48 gigabit of bandwidth so you can get to the full 8K60. Uh, we also have uh, the new ultra high speed cable certification program which will enable 8K to be carried from source to display. So once again, we're excited to be here at CES 2020. 8K is where it's at. HDMI 2.1 is the cable to support it. How's the adoption of the HDMI 2.1? So it is gaining momentum rapidly. So you can see products throughout the show floor, number of uh, 8K TVs, but also 4K TVs support a number of the HDMI 2.1 features. 8K obviously supports the 48 gigabit. The, the 4K TVs will support things like variable rate refresh, as well as the enhanced audio return channel. The big launch at the CS 2020 is the Ultra High Speed HDMI Cable Certification Program. So the exciting news from HDMI LA at the show is the Ultra High Speed Cable Certification Program. This program was launched to ensure only high quality cables are released to the marketplace. So these cables have to be tested at an authorized test center, at which point they're tested for performance. Can they carry the 48 gigabit? They're also tested for low EMI, so it won't interfere with your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth radios. So when you go to the mark, or when you go look for the new ultra high speed cable, you will look for this certification label, which will ensure you will be buying a high quality tested cable. And it's maybe even more important than before because of the inc increased bandwidth, right? A absolutely, because we're jumping from 18 gigabits on the old HDMI 2.1 to 48 gigabits. Huge leap in bandwidth. We want to ensure cables are capable of carrying the 8K. So when you upgrade to an 8K TV, you also want to upgrade to an ultra high speed cable and ensure it'll work. It'll work when you plug it into your source devices. So when you walk around the CES show floor, you see a lot of 8K. Yes. You see a lot of uh, 8K TVs being launched, more and more available in the market. It's getting more and more affordable. And the Olympics is 2020, and it's going to be all in 8K. Is there going to be, like, uh, how much 8K is there going to be? Do you think there's going to be a day not too long in the future where most TVs are 8K? Or is it like, what do you think? Absolutely. So uh, great question everybody asks about 8K content. So we're in the early days of 8K. If you jump back about six years ago to the early days of 4K, same questions, where's the 4K content? Fast forward to today and there's all sorts of 4K content available for various streaming services, ultra, ultra HD Blu-ray players, uh, and other sources. Uh, starting out with 8K, it's a lot about upscaling. Taking your 4K content, your 2K content, upscaling to 8K, having beautiful pictures. Uh, but there's already content out there. Uh, there's uh, YouTube content already shot in 8K. Uh, there's broadcast, Tokyo 2020 Olympics is in 8K. Uh, some of the streaming services are starting to experiment with 8K. So it'll be here before you know it. 